Hello, my lovelies. This is going to be an in-depth reading on are you spiritually protected right now? We're going to do a check-in on your energetic protections. I'm going to let you know whether or not your protections are fully effective at this time, what's going on, what type of advice I can offer as far as how to strengthen your protections and how to guard your energy better. I will also talk about anything that may be negatively influencing your energy as well. So I'm going to go ahead and dive right in. We have here pile one, two, three, four, or five. So simply tune in and choose the pile that you are most drawn to. If you are drawn to multiple piles, that's okay. Go ahead and check out each of those piles. This is a general reading. Take what resonates with the rest. If you are interested in booking a private reading with me, you can do so on my website, thetantricdragonist.com. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share. We're now going to go into pile one. Those of you who chose pile one or the snake, let's get into your reading. All right, pile one, this is your spread. And you have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse or Lucifuge. I want to talk about your finances, okay? Because I feel like you're not energetically protected in that area. Because we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, which indicates issues getting financial projects off the ground, problems with money coming in. I feel like some of you might actually have had magic done against you to take your financial stability away or to hinder your ability to make money, you know, whether it's a job or it's a project or it's a business or whatever it is. I feel like because like even here, I'm saying like all this gold energy, but it's like in reverse. So it's showing when I'm looking at this, I'm looking at this as being like somebody watching over their finances, like that's energy coming through, but then it's like in reverse. So, and then I'm seeing like right here holding the bag, but it's in reverse. So it's like, you're not holding on to the bag. For some of you, you might be, and this might be more of a personal thing where maybe you're not focused on your finances right now. Some of you might feel stuck as though there's nothing that you can do about it, but I'm just feeling this, this real energetic blockage with your finances and them not being protected, them being exposed. So I do think, like I said, for some of you, it could be somebody is actually doing a work against you. But I think for the rest of you, it's like you're leaving yourself open in that area. So maybe you're really focused on spiritual pursuits. Maybe you're, I don't know, I'm getting like a message for some of you, maybe the kind of person that thinks that spiritual protection isn't necessary. Like if you vibe high or if you're doing all the right things, then everything will be okay. And while everything may work out in your favor in the end, you can save yourself a lot of issues and heartache by protecting your energy and your sovereignty. And part of that includes your finances. Um, something else that came through when I was looking at this card specifically is you might try to actually, when you're doing energetic shields, and, and this is for those of you who are familiar with this, if you're not familiar with making energetic shields, definitely check out my Patreon because I do teach how to do that. But if you are familiar with it, try creating an energy shield with money inside. So you could actually visualize your finances being secured and protected inside the shield. But you can also visualize, you know, and this will especially be effective for those of you who are having money problems. We can also visualize like money and gold and, you know, glittering abundant energy around your energy field as well. I don't know why, but that was just coming through really strong. For some of you, yeah, because this to me also kind of, it's like, I think of like almost like a crab. Like if, let me see, I don't, I don't think this one's as easy to see, but it looks like it's in reverse and it looks like there's somebody hovering over, you know, protecting their egg. Like that's what, that's the, the energy I'm getting like for the specific context of this reading, but it's in reverse for you. So you're not, you're not protecting your nest egg. 
Yeah, here we go again. That's another oh, it's another watcher energy in reverse. I feel like a lot of you, your energy is really scattered. You're really distracted right now. Some of you are really distracted by love interests. I also want to say that this could be because of a love interest that your money may not be safe or maybe it's exposed or maybe you're spending a lot of money on them. Some of you need to do soul fragment retrieval when it comes to finances. Some of you have like, generational trauma when it comes to finances some of you are from a rich family and you either don't value it or you don't even know you're from a rich family because there was something that happened like generations ago that caused your family to lose their money and now it's like little is known about it or maybe it's not talked about but that is in the dna like that left like a scar so I would really recommend doing some soul fragment retrieval for those of you that that specific message resonates. For those of you that where the message resonates about the lover, be mindful about making sure things are being kept even, that you're not giving more than you're receiving, that you're, you know, guarding your nest egg, like not in a paranoid kind of way, but that you're just mindful of protecting your assets, your investments, your home, things of that nature, and your finances. And that you focus on your financial stability and protecting that financial stability. Be more directed with your energy, less distracted, pile one. So that's the main area I feel like you guys need protection. So you might actually already be using protection in other areas. And maybe this is the one area that's a little weak. Or maybe you've been having issues with it. And you're like, well, what's going on? Well, the issue is, is you're not protecting your finances. You're not protecting your energy good enough in that particular area. Now, this could extend out in other areas, but this is what's coming through specifically. So again, like, you know, if you don't know much about energy shields, check that out. That's what came through specifically for this pile as far as the protections. If you do feel like somebody did, you know, a working on you on like a root, a hex, curse, jinx, or cross, um, you know, remove that. And there's things you can do. I teach how to do that pa on Patreon. If you don't know how, or you could always hit me up for a session to remove any, you know, etheric implants that may be in that as a result or affecting you. And, you know, if you do have the means, I'd recommend, you know, making sure that, like I said, you remove any hex, jinx, curse, or cross that might be on you this time from that person, or alternatively, you could reverse it back to them. But either way, I do teach how to do that on Patreon, and I can also help you as well in person, one-on-one, -on -one, if that's something you would be interested in. So good luck in the future. Um, stay focused and make sure you're protecting your energy pile one. Take care. Hit me up for a private reading if you're interested. Moving on to the next pile. Okay, those of you who chose two or the skull, let's get into your reading. This is your spread pile two. So we have here... Justice Upright or Astra, who was originally a goddess, but is also depicted as a daemon in the Goetia. I really feel that you guys are pretty protected right now. And I actually feel like it's like I'm almost getting the energy of vehemently protected, like your guardians are aggressively protecting you. Because I feel like for most of you, there's I'm getting this energy of like other beings protecting you. Now they could be servitors. They could be demons. They could be angels. They could be ancestors. It's going to be different for each person because this is a general reading. I'm actually getting the energy of like almost a knight in armor. I feel like for most of you, this is like a guardian demon, honestly. But I feel like for others of you, this could also be you being very protective over your children as well because i'm almost getting a children vibe here and this character it's also some, for some of you those of you who don't have children this could be you protecting your inner child too i don't know that came through too and this is you just like you know spreading your wings i feel like for and i'm seeing wings you know here too so i feel like some of you might actually be aware that you have etheric wings that are like dragon-like or angel-like or demon-like, depending. It's going to be different for each person, like I said. But some of you actually use your wings, whether you're conscious of it or not, to protect your energy. I also feel like you do have beings that protect you. And I got to be honest, I'm getting mostly demon and angel vibes coming through here. But, you know, also could be gods, goddesses, ancestors, elementals. 
things of that nature, but I'm definitely getting like demon and angel mostly coming through here. Some of you might have created servitors as well, but I feel like that would only be for like a select few. Some of you might actually be protected by Astroff, either in like the goddess form or in the demon form. I feel like you guys are pretty solid on your protections. One thing that I would keep in mind is to just check on them every so often. Like don't don't depend too much on outside external beings is what I want to say. Like, don't like make sure that you're being proactive in protecting your own energy. So that's one thing that was kind of coming through. But other than that, looks golden. I don't have much to say for this pile. Looks like you guys are pretty well protected on all sides, honestly, especially from those who would seek to do you harm or to do like a working against you is what I'm getting. I feel like in the past you have had that happen. And so you're like, you're more prepared more. Now your team is just like on, like they're like on no bullshit, like no tolerance. Like, like I said, it's like vehemently <laughs> protecting you here. So yeah, that's what I have for you guys. Pile two, take it resonance to the rest. If you're interested in a private reading, definitely hit me up for that. And if you like this video, make sure to like, follow, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share, etc. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Heading on to pile three. Okay, those of you who chose pile three or the energy spiral, let's get into your reading. Pile three, this is your spread. We have the four of cups or the daemon shacks for the yes or no energy. And we have these around as clarifiers. Now, I feel like, yes, you guys are protected. I feel like you're mostly protected by ancestors and by familiars. And I'm going to get into that in a, a few minutes about what familiars are and the different definitions of that real quick just so you can understand more in case you're unfamiliar. I'm getting a lot of animal energy. This to me feels like almost like a mountain lion, possibly a cat. This to me feels like a wolf or a dog. This to me has like ancestral vibes. And then here you know, we have the horse right here, the energy of the horse. I really feel some of you are actually have energetic familiar companions that you're even aware of that you might've met in the astral or you might've met while dreaming, or you may not be aware of them. Some of you even have like hellhound guardians is what I'm getting. I'm getting a wolf coming through here, strong and dog for a lot of people. Um, also cat and horse panther, jaguar, mountain lion, things of that nature. I feel like for some of you, these might be physical animals. So you might actually have physical animals that have chosen to be your familiars that you know on the other side and they've come to you to offer protection. A lot of people don't know this, but dogs are very good at protecting people in the physical. And also they also guard portals of the underworld and cats are very good at protecting people in the spiritual and they can see and access nine different dimensions. And they also can access the underworld to a degree as well. I really feel like for some of you, this could be physical pets, but for others, it could be spiritual familiars that have, you know, decided to become part of your team, so to speak. And for some of you, it could be servitors that you created. Servitors came through on the last pile. So if you guys were drawn to pile two, check that out. I didn't really go into detail about what servitors are, um, but I'll just briefly say in this pile that if you don't know what a servitor is, then unless you're, you're from a family of magicians or witches or root workers, then more than likely it's not a servitor <laughs> because if you don't even know what it is, you know, then it's probably something else because servitors are created to assist. I do feel for a lot of you as ancestral. These are especially ancestors that are warriors, like deceased warriors, um, deceased medicine men and women for some of you. Some of you, for some of you, they're like ancestors that were imprisoned or in jail. They're like a little rough around the edges. But yeah, you guys are definitely protected by I'm getting mostly familiars and ancestors, whether you're aware of it or not. Um, definitely, I would encourage you to create an ancestor altar if you haven't already and start working with your ancestors. I have a lot of information on how to do that safely and efficiently on Patreon if you guys are interested specifically in the shadow healing tier, but also in the advanced mystic tier and master tier. I would also encourage you to make sure that you are protecting yourself as well, that you're not relying on energetic protection from external beings. 
So just make sure that you're doing something to protect yourself, you know, either using, you know, fetishes or sigils or energy shields or, you know, wards or whatever, you know, just make sure that it's not just falling to these beings. But yeah, definitely set up an altar, maybe, you know, give some offerings to your familiars, give some offerings to your ancestors, you know, tell them thank you for protecting you. And I also want to add that if these are physical familiars, like physical pets, which you'll know, you'll like sense that'll resonate with you, you know, make sure you take really good care of them. Keep an eye on them when their energy gets low. It can mean that they're taking some hits for you. You know, you might want to like, you know, give them like a bath and do like, you know, Olympia cleanse on them or something like that. Okay. And oh, one more thing I want to mention. I feel like this, a lot of this is emotional protection of the heart because we got the cups, the four cups. And like the stability of the heart, I definitely feel like these elevated ancestors that are protecting you, you know, those that really, you know, have your best interests in mind and these familiars are really invested in protecting you emotionally. I just wanted to add that. Okay. So that's what I have for you guys. Pile three. If you would like a private reading, hit me up, make sure to like, follow, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share things of that nature. If you liked the video and I'm moving on to pile four. Those of you who chose four or the arrow, let's get into your reading. Okay, pile four. You have, for the yes or no part of the question, King of Cups Upright or Alisur, the demon Alisur. And by the looks of it, I would say that you guys are very much protected by a specific man who is very loving. Now, this could be a husband, a boyfriend, a father, a friend. Um... It could be a guardian, it could be an ancestor, it could be a mentor, but I feel like this person is very spiritually powerful, whether they're aware of it or not. And this feels very multidimensional, like maybe you don't even know this person physically, but they're very active in the spiritual realm specifically like in the i'm getting ancestor i keep wanting to say ancestor I feel like this is an ancestor um i'm really getting that strong again that could be for select people and for others it could be a living relative especially if this person practices you know and you know they practice and and because i am getting like a few different energy currents going through I'm, I'm thinking for most of you guys this is an ancestor for some of you guys it's a lover and for others it's like a different type of guardian. I'm definitely getting a loving male presence that oversees and protects. I mean, I'm just seeing the same kind of male energy overseeing and protecting coming out and all of these. So you have one really strong, powerful protector. And this person or being, whoever they may be, is very watchful over you very involved cares about the details cares about your happiness wants to protect you from all harm and it does feel i do feel a lot of love coming through so i do feel like this person loves you and is very invested in your safety i feel like they may see you as a child in some ways and i don't mean that in a disrespectful kind of way if you're an adult but i just mean the relationship almost has this energy of and it's not like they look at you as helpless necessary or anything like that. It's just that they just see themselves as being kind of in this, you know, father figure or grandfather figure or like protector or teacher role with you, mentor role. And this definitely is big in the area of spiritual protection. This person watches over you in the astral and in the underworld mostly. One thing that I would be mindful of, I just got the image of like a crystal and also soul star chakra. Some of you need to do a better job of protecting your higher energy and the higher dimensions of yourself, because I feel like I'm getting in and I don't mean any disrespect, but I feel like a lot of people in this pile just are used to like letting other people take care of things for them. When it comes to spirituality, I'm not saying it's for everybody, but you may be the type of person that would rather pay somebody to do something or would rather rely on like an angel or an ancestor or things of that nature to protect you instead of doing the work yourself. And I want to encourage you to do the work yourself. We should never rely 
on external beings for protection. We can be grateful for their protection. You know, we can give them offerings. We can show gratitude, but, you know, have, you know, maintain that relationship with them. But we need to, you know, the goal is to become sovereign in our energy as well. You know, they should be a first line of defense, not our only defense. And so I, I don't know. I feel like that message is for some someone. You know, I'm not saying it's everybody that picked this pile. But yes, you are protected. And yes, it is specifically with a particular loving male energy, whether this person is physical and alive or whether they're an ancestor or a guardian angel or demon or, you know, some other type of astral guardian. For some of you, it could be um, a lover from a past life that you know decided to protect you uh you know while you're incarnated in this journey i mean i'm getting a lot of different kind of energies coming through with who this person is but they definitely know and love you <laughs> so that's for sure so that's good you guys are all protected and stuff just you know like i said make sure you're doing the work yourself as well and not leaving it up to others otherwise all good to go guys and um that's all i got for you if you're interested in a private reading, hit me up. Make sure to like this video if you liked it, you know, or comment to, you know, make sure you're subscribed, that you're following me, that you hit the notification bell. And if you feel compelled, share the video. Take care. Moving on to the last pile, pile, five. Those of you who chose five or the star, let's get into your reading. All right, pile five. This is your spread. So we have the Ace of Cups in reverse or Bure. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. I don't work with this particular demo. Okay, so no, you guys are not completely protected at this time. And I feel that it's in areas of the heart. I feel that some of you went through a breakup with somebody that practices, or maybe they know somebody that practices and they did like a working on you. They did a root on you. And they're trying to make it to where you cannot find love some of you they might be trying to create confusion they might be making you feel like you don't know what direction to go i'm getting a lot of this like x's x energy also this person i think spies on you like projects the evil eye on you so i feel like you might be a victim of the evil because this also feels like people watching like exes watching begrudge people watching. I'm getting the energy that a lot of you that chose this pile are probably female, but not necessarily. You might be male as well. I do feel like there's stalker energy going on, possible baneful magic being projected at you, the evil eye. So definitely make sure, I feel like for you guys, you might even want to make sure you're protecting yourself physically and your property. Um, and again, like, I'm not saying that everything that I'm saying is gonna, you know, be for everybody, because this is a general reading, but I feel like the protection needs to be like multidimensional, like, you need protection from the evil eye, you need protection from stalkers, like cyber stalking, maybe you need to put more of your stuff on private, on, you know, social media, or be careful like what you're saying or who has, because I'm also getting this energy that people are gossiping. So like you might have an ex that you cut out of your life, but maybe like somebody on your Facebook page or somebody on your Instagram or something still talks to them and they like report back to them things you say. I don't know. I'm just getting that energy. Like with the bird too, it's almost like a reporting back. So I'm definitely getting spy and stalker energy. Um, This person for some of you like drives past your house and stuff um, or like, tries to see if they can follow you or see you like in certain areas they might know you're gone I mean I'm not trying to like get super creepy and freak you guys out but like I'm getting that kind of energy so again I feel like this is like begrudged love interest ex energy people that are just haters in general so definitely make sure you're staying on top of your evil eye protection make sure like you're you know locking your doors and stuff that you're not walking alone at night or in parking lots like dark parking lots by yourself and things like that make sure you know maybe you might need to get like some pepper spray or you know some you know make sure that people are with you more especially late at night i'm getting like this person might be the kind of person that might stalk you like when you're leaving work like some of you leave work and, you, and some of you guys work at night i'm getting 
Um, they might follow your children or try to talk to your children. It's getting like kind of some creeper vibes, guys. So just be careful and make sure that you're protecting yourself spiritually, energetically, emotionally, and physically. So yeah, evil eye protection, protection of your energy boundaries. You can use like wards, you know, witches jars, um, shields. For those of you that feel like this person might've done magic against you, you could either do a reversal or, you know, you could transmute it with like a spiritual bath or Olympia. Um, you could also hit me up, help. I can, you know, remove any energy implants connected to any, you know, hexes, curses, jinxes, or crosses. Um, I can also help you deal with the situation, like based on, you know, that unique situation as far as intuitively how to deal with it from a magical standpoint. But yeah, just take care of yourself, you know, make sure you're staying safe. And, you know, if you have had issues with physical stalking or cyberbullying or anything like that, Make sure you're also taking legal action. Like if you need to get a restraining order or you need to report certain things, you know, make sure you're taking care of yourself. And uh, for those of you where this is more of an energetic thing and maybe it's not super in your face, maybe it's more subtle, just make sure, like I said, you're staying on top of your protections. You're protecting yourself from the evil eye and that you're making sure that people that you don't want in your life do not have access to your energy and your life. Okay, so that's what I have for you, Pile 5. Take it resonates with the rest. If you like to book a private reading with me or any other session, hit me up. Also, if you like the video, make sure to like, follow, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share the video if you feel like it, and stay tuned for future readings and other assorted videos. Take care. Check out my website, thetantricdragoness.com, to book a private Akashic reading or any other reading. Also, Akashic portraits, consultations, shamanic journeys, starseed charts, primordial dragonfire healing, and much more. You can also subscribe to Patreon to learn how to do a lot of this yourself through various templates I've designed. Activate Diamond Consciousness, Activate the Black Flame, Journey the Underworld, Tantric Healing and BDSM, Astral Projection and Power, Shields, Cloaks, Wards, Learning Light Language, Exclusive and Premier Readings, Soul Fragment Retrieval, Advanced Ancestral Work, Creating Your Own Shamanic Sanctuary, and much more. Thanks for your support and stay tuned for future videos.